All right, looks like we're live here. I believe. Hopefully this works out. So if uh, anybody's in the comments and you can't hear anything or if there's any errors, let me know. This is uh, just kind of totally last minute. I've never live streamed through YouTube before. I've done it through Twitch once or twice. And uh, yeah, so I'm just totally figuring this out as I go. And hopefully it goes all right. Get our skill pill going here. But it looks like it's live streaming, so... I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope for the best. And hope I didn't forget anything in-game. dogs hanging out with me while I uh, live stream here so you might hear a little bit of noise from her I apologize Ooh, got a strong box already it's a good start but I'm pretty excited I've been wanting to do this for a long time also really nervous, but you know, that's how it goes. I've been I've been putting this off for a while. I should have done this a while ago, but oh well. Decent drop there. Sounds, make sure everything's coming through okay. Just tap audio. Microphone is on. Looks like it's registering. Yeah, we should be should be good to go. And the loot to start out hasn't been half bad. Hey, Scrappy Overload, how's it going, dude? I'm doing good. Thanks for uh, stopping in, checking out the stream. there's quite a bit of a delay too so might take a little bit for me to get your comments and stuff Super happy that I got everything working decent here.
Ouch. What gun am I using? I'm using the LR-15. I will just do it this way. I pretty much uh, just shoot the LR series now, is what I've switched over to. Started out using the LR-10, I believe, is the lowest they go. And uh, I got this one maxed out, as far as stats go. Scroll that down there a little bit for you. And the only reason I'm not using the LR-20 is because the minimum damage I do with the LR-20 is less than the minimum damage of what I do with the LR-15. I just haven't skilled up enough to move up to that gun, but I have this one maxed out. It's kind of a weird transition. So I'm just going to keep shooting this one until I have enough or enough experience points to use the LR-20 uh, more effectively. I know some people kind of disagree me disagree with me on that because you get more skill cuz like right now I don't have the the skilling bonuses anymore. But I would rather save my ped and use a gun that I'm efficient with instead of throwing away ped on Efficiency for skill. But it's a it's a good gun for they're very easy to get. There's always tons of them on the the, the market. They're decent on ammo and they put out pretty decent damage. I really like them. Are you taking part in Merry Mayhem this year? Do you know when uh, this event ends? I think it's the the 14th of January, but I'm not 100% sure. I know it's sometime in January. How long have you been playing Entropia Universe? Since you just started. Been playing for a couple months or I you've been following my my YouTube page uh, channel for a while. See so you comment on post uh, videos every once in a while.
Oh, you've only been playing for a week now? Oh, okay, you were waiting on a computer. So how's your first week been going? Kind of a long day. I was hoping to actually start this a little bit sooner. But uh, I didn't get out of work as soon as I would have liked to. I had some last minute appointments. Start, <laughs> Scrappy, it's, uh, it's definitely tough starting out. I know when I first started, I went through a lot of ammo pretty quick. The the little bit that they give you from doing the missions and like the tutorial doesn't last very long. But at least in the beginning, the the little bit of money that you make for sweating goes a nice long ways. Where are you sweating at, bud? Are you sweating at, uh, Boras or Borias or whatever? Or just hanging around Camp Icarus? Oh, nice! You made it down to Royal Club. That's like the best sweating spot in the game, in my opinion. I'm actually kind of surprised you made it all the way down there. You got like a mentor or somebody that took you down there? I love sweating there, man. That's that's a good place to sweat at. Not that I do it a whole lot anymore, but when I do, that's where I go. I actually got a lot of good sweating events down there. If Actually, I think for the events, they do like a taxi service and bring, bring groups of like new people down there to the sweating circles and 
and whatnot. The LR guns? Um, that's a, that's a good question. The the LR guns are fairly fairly cheap and readily available. What you're gonna start running into is once you pro <clears throat> once you progress farther, uh, the unlimited guns get really really expensive so a lot of people start switching over to limited weapons and honestly the the lrs are just uh great guns they're the primary reason is because they're easy to get a lot of people craft them you ran all the way down to club royal that must have took forever. Like you, like you walked or did you like drive or... I don't know if you have a ship. I flew down there when I went down there for the first time. And that took forever. I couldn't imagine going on foot. I feel like that would take like a day to, to walk that far between and swim because there's islands and stuff in between. That's crazy. two of them. I'm not going to live through this. for teleporter. I'm not familiar with that one. Is that on the lower part of the map? I still feel like that would take a long time to run to. There's a lot of bigger mobs on the lower part of the map that you gotta watch out for. Maybe that's a. Uh, maybe they added that in recently. I don't remember that mission. Not that I do a lot of missions.
really close here on the Codex. <coughs> Excuse me. Loot seems to be pretty good. <clears throat> I don't, uh, I don't really like playing during the week. The week, during the week, the loot usually just seems to be worse for me. I usually have better luck on the weekends, but maybe it's some streamer perks going on here. see here. No evade. So let's go with... Yeah, let's go with melee combat. Hey, it looks like the stream's picking up here a little bit. We're up to four viewers, it looks like. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm currently sitting at 87 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 100 before the end of the year, so if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be awesome. Not a lot of time left, so got to get at her. And if you got any questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. Happy to help. I'll do my best. I don't know everything, but... Or even just to say hello. You know, friendly guy. That's what uh that's what what I aim to do with my channel is just to have a nice chill you know, chill live streams and even just chill videos, drama free. I use video games as an escape from the real real world, you know. Put all my problems aside and just kinda Relax, release some of the tension. And hopefully I uh, get to know some of the people in the community a little bit better. Our BLP rifle is a good option. Good question, Scrappy. They're not a bad option. It kind of depends on what, how you want to go with them. If you're looking to buy into the unlimited ones, I, I think they're a little bit harder to find than some of the unlimited laser rifles. The AR Matrix uh, series sells everything from laser rifles, pistols, uh, and as well as the BLP pistols and rifles. So, uh, I, I personally like limited stuff. It's easier to get. It's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, you got to pay the markup, but it's a good way to start scaling. Once you get to a much higher skill level, to that mid and higher level tiers, then you might want to start considering investing into, you know, an unlimited gun but for a new player uh, it doesn't really make sense to invest a lot of money into an unlimited gun 
early on because you're gonna outgrow it pretty quickly and then you got to turn around and sell it and then you got to worry about finding buyers and stuff for it which can can be tough Guy going. Heard my dog jumping at the door. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Wife isn't home yet to let the dog out, so. <clears throat> I gotta let her in and out, unfortunately. But she should be home pretty soon. I am. I didn't tell her I was gonna live stream tonight. Probably let her know. Totally slipped my mind. Doing this all completely last minute. Man, the loot is actually really, really decent tonight. Haven't hit a global yet, but... 5-6 pet isn't nothing to stick your nose up at. No tokens yet, though. <clears throat> Definitely could use a few more tokens. Obble dude, what's going on, man? Dude, I'm super excited that you showed up. I wasn't wasn't going <clears> to <throat> wasn't sure if you were going to catch it or not. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to see some swirlies. I hit a nice 60 petter the other night. What was that? That was I think that was Saturday I hit that. Which I thought it's pretty decent. Not how <clears throat> not a whole lot going on with me, man. How's your channel going? You got any new videos coming out soon? If you all didn't know, Abledu TV, he's a fellow Entropian YouTuber. If you haven't already, go check out his channel. He's got some pretty awesome stuff over there. Drop that guy a sub.
The delay on this is just ridiculous, though. I gotta figure out a better way to stream this. Ooh, you got some stuff in the works? Can't wait to see it. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Puppy dog, I get to come in. It's cold out there. It's snowing. Finally. Well, I shouldn't say finally. October, November, stupid cold. Snowing all the time. And we hit December and it's been like 40 degrees every day. And raining. This is the first time I think it's snowed this month. Apple dude, what have you been hunting lately, man? Maybe you're just hunting the wrong mob. when they spawn right in front of you. You've been getting burned on curbs? Curbs are usually a pretty solid, solid mob to hunt. I usually at least break even on them. I guess you could always try uh, uh, the Argonauts on, what was it, land area, was it 43, 42, somewhere in there. I usually do pretty good there too on Argonauts, if you want to try them. Yeah, a different gun might help. What are you using for guns these days? What's the difference between a short blade and a long blade? <laughs> One's shorter than the other. Scrappy? No, um, <laughs> sorry, that was that was kind of a dick move. Um, the short blades usually uh, 
do lower damage, but they're faster attack. Where a long blade will do higher damage, but it's a longer attack time. Is kind of the big difference between the two. Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. That was... You kind of made that one easy, but... I apologize, Scrappy. That, that is, that's a good question, nonetheless. Abel dude, you should check out the... Uh, actually, we, me and Scrappy were just talking about this. The, the AR Matrix series is what I'm shooting right now. They're pretty decent. Uh, this is the LR15. I thought you said you were right around my skill level. Um, if you can't shoot the LR15, you could go down to like an LR10. And it, it has pretty similar... Similar stats. Power Fist? Who uses a Power Fist, man? I think I've only seen like one or two people ever with high Power Fist stats. Their professions. <laughs> nice. But, I mean, any even if you don't want to use the laser rifle, AR Matrix makes pretty much everything. From uh, BLP rifles, pistols, laser pistols, short blades, long blades. You can get pretty much anything in an AR Matrix series and just... Continue up the chain. The power fist is kind of different. I, I wish they would add some new new power fists to the game just to kind of bring that profession alive because like nobody nobody really skills into it because after like the tt power fist you have like nothing to really use not that i know of like there's just kind of like nowhere to go from there with it or they're really really hard to find Uh, scrappy overload. Doesn't the speed of the short blade and the damage of the long blade ever each other out? Uh, scrappy, I don't quite understand your question. Can you maybe rephrase that a little bit? Try to help you out there, bud. Ah, crap. I pulled two of them again, didn't I? BLP is a good one to focus on. And it's nice because they kind of... I like how the guns kind of skill up each other. So if you're using BLP, you're still kind of skilling up your laser rifle stuff too at the same time. Yeah, the, the Power Fist could be more equal than the TT Sword. But, like I said, outside of the, the TT one, it's really, really hard to find a Power Fist. Ooh, hey, look at the swirlies, guys! We got one! 
actually wouldn't mind uh, leveling up swords a little bit. Just to bring up my... Because when you use the, the melee weapons, like swords and, and power fists, it uh, maximizes your carrying capacity, which is awesome for mining when you're loaded down with all that sweet, sweet loot that you get. Also, it I think that really helps boost your health a lot, too. Which is the primary reason why I want to do swords, but... here scrappy overload it cancels each other out making the dps the same for both yeah that's probably true to a certain degree where you know the the speed of the knife kind of makes up for the damage whereas the damage of the sword kind of makes up for the lack of the speed But that's what I really like about this game. So, like, Scrappy, if you decided you want to be, like, a swordsman and run swords, you're still going to get skills towards the the knife category. You won't level it up quite as fast, but you'll, you're still getting points to it so that if you would ever decide that, hey, I'm done with the long swords, I want to switch over to a short blade, you don't have to exactly start from scratch. You can kind of... You already will have some points in there just from using long swords because they're so similar to each other. I that's like one of the really neat things that Entropia Universe does with their their skilling system, just by using similar items kind of skills them together. Same with if you're using a laser rifle or a BLP rifle. Using either or kind of skills both categories a little bit. So that if you do decide to switch, you know, you don't have to start from scratch. I'm loving the comments, by the way, guys. This is making my stream go so much better. I had, like, nothing planned to talk about. And uh, you got plenty of material coming in for me, so I really appreciate it. You're keeping things moving. Keeping me talking, because otherwise I get focused on the game, and I'm like, oh, crap, I got to talk to people and, like, be engaging. So this is helping me out a lot. Thank you so much. Attention, pay attention, come on. Oh, come on, Jesus. Mind Force is a lot of fun. I don't know if it's the most efficient route to go, but it's pretty fun. So, you know, when you put it in that term, I actually, it's pretty, pretty cheap to get into. Like I, ah, oh, balls. Thought I switched over to my, my chip and I didn't. Um, I really like it for healing. I don't know if it's going to be super efficient for say like hunting, but the, the healing chips are pretty cheap and they use the synthetic 
Mind Force, which you can get out of the TT machine. And then once you do switch over, it's pretty cheap to make. I mean, and you being a miner, I'm sure you get all kinds of ne uh, Force Nexus. I should really dig farther into Mind Force. And actually, that would probably be a really good video that is waiting to be made. But at, currently, I don't have enough knowledge that I'm comfortable talking about it, or at least suggesting it over something. I mean, I can show people, like, this is what it is, this is how it works. But to say that it's better than something, I, I can't really say one way or the other. I think it's becoming a lot cheaper to use just because sweat is so cheap. So to like make mine essence is pretty reasonable. So at least the ammo for it isn't too bad. It's just then paying for the chips. Yeah, you did. You pumped a lot of money into those, those Crystal Palace shares, bud. That probably chewed up a good portion of your your mining budget. That's where it's all at. You didn't really lose it. You still got it. You just can't play with it. for hunting it doesn't use any mind essence you got to power the chip somehow I'm pretty sure mind essence is used as ammo let me see what I got for chips on me All right, so here's a level one combustion chip. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it uses synthetic mind essence. Or you could use universal ammo. Yeah, so I, like I said, I don't, I don't know a ton about mind force, but from what I understand, I'm gonna die here again. Um, the the smaller chips, you start out using the synthetic mine essence, and then the uh, I could be wrong. At least that's how I understood it. The 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 smaller, like the beginner chips, use the synthetic mine essence, and then once you got into the bigger chips, you switched over to standard my essence cuz i got i got healing chips on me too here which this also uses synthetic my essence so i don't know if it's really being one or the other i know the the teleporting chips i'm pretty sure use my um Mine essence.
Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure either. I dabble a little bit, but I'm no expert, unfortunately. If anybody in the stream is watching, I know Silver kind of chimed in there a little bit, uh, that knows for sure kind of the difference of what it's used for and kind of can shed some light on this. That'd be awesome. Yeah, the tele yeah, the teleport chips for sure. Man, you guys really got me thinking about this now. That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> But this is awesome. This is awesome. Now I got a uh, new material. I'm gonna have to do some research and I'm gonna drop a video on it once I know for sure which way it works. Whether if one is used for certain things or if it's based on chip level or I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Dude, not gonna lie, being a pirate would be really fun. I feel like you'd make a lot of enemies though too. Uh, I'd love to do it. My pet card says no way. <laughs> I'd probably be a pretty lousy pirate. I'd like to do more mining. I just, I hate that my skills are so low, and I really don't want to split up my ped between two professions at the moment. Oops. Come on. You lost all your money crafting? Did you not watch my crafting video? Maybe that maybe that's your problem. I laid out a very nice crafting video for you. Yeah, it's, like, I love all the professions in this game, and there's, there's so much to do, but it's so easy for you to spread your pet out too thin. It, uh, that really makes it difficult. Oh, dude, I hate explosive projectiles. Dude, the, the projectiles don't really have much of a markup on them, do they? I haven't looked at them in forever.
Abel, dude, you're a miner, man. You should be crafting those basic filters. Get started there. One, what is it? One Listerium ingot and one oil per click. Super cheap, super simple. Get yourself a max TT blueprint. Or max quality blueprint. Pick one up for like, I don't know, probably like 80 ped maybe. 75 ped, somewhere in there. Otherwise, uh, the balls is the one that I do. The simple, simple conductors is the other pretty easy one if you're, if you're hunting. Crafting amps is a, a really smart thing to get into, but I'm guessing where your skill, skill level is, you probably are going to want to hold off on that. I would start skilling up, like, figure out what items you need to make so that you, you could make an amp. So, like, you're probably going to need, like, basic sheet metal and stuff like that, which is an item that you craft. I would find those blueprints and start crafting that first. So then farther down the road a you're building up skills b it's cheaper and then c you'll have those uh items ready for when you're ready to start crafting some of the the amps and stuff but you know that's just my opinion i mean you're feel free to do what you want Ooh, there's a nice drop. 14 and a half. Streamer perks. It's paying off. Loving it. I guess the other question you should probably ask yourself if you're thinking about using amps is um, can you use them efficiently, you know, with, with what you have? Make sure, you're, make sure your skills are maxed out where you can use those efficiently. Otherwise, you're just pissing away, Padman. Boy, I made that mistake. Which, you do quite a bit of mining, so I'm sure, sure at least at least the low-level amps you can use efficiently. Yeah, man, you're always learning something with this game. There is so much to this game; it's ridiculous. And it's like, and it changes fairly regularly too. Like something that you knew like two, three years ago might not apply anymore, which is kind of irritating. But what are you gonna do? I guess the only plus side to using an amp when you're not like a hundred percent leveled up for it is it should boost the amount of skills that you're getting every time you drop. At least I think that's how it works. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that.
but it, it, it makes sense that you should be getting more skills for dropping more head. I would think. They might even have skill increase bonuses on them. That'd be something to look into. Yeah, tearing up the, the F-105, man, that's going to be awesome. Especially now that they changed the way the enhancers work, and, and everybody should be crafting them now. Or you could craft your own enhancers. There's another thing you should probably look into. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by, man. I don't know if you were here earlier, I hit a, I think it was a 52 ped global. Not a Hoff, but I got the swirlies. What's expensive? The uh, making the enhancers or just tearing up the, the F-105 in general? Iron Man the game. So what, you just make everything yourself? It's not a bad way to go. I don't think tiering should be too expensive. Should be a lot cheaper than it was anyways. Oh boy. Dang it. Well, that sucks. Okay, so the other downside to using Mind Force for healing. It's kind of slow. Decent drop. Honestly, that's what I already try to do. I try to, like, be as self-sufficient as possible. Like, I try to, like, craft as much as I can for myself and not buy too much off the auction, but I buy a lot of guns at the moment. But that's mostly because I don't have the ability to craft them. And I kind of need them to gather... <laughs> resources so unless i want to go like way back down to like hunting punies and using like tt guns and stuff i don't know if i could quite make everything myself you know maybe someday
uh, pop another pill here. Buying in bulk is smart. You definitely get better prices that way. The problem with buying in bulk is having enough, you know, liquid ped to buy it. But if you have it, that's definitely the way to go. So my only thought with being 100% self-efficient is it almost kind of breaks the game to a certain extent. Like, for you, yeah, it's a good thing because it doesn't cost you any money. But, like, if you think about it, if everybody was, like, self-sufficient and, like, made all their own stuff, crafted their own stuff, like, you wouldn't have anybody to sell your stuff to and it would, like kind of kill the market to a certain extent because nobody would need anything because everybody's self-sufficient nice not a 36 petter you're we having a fantastic night but this is kind of like one of the things that crosses my mind and actually that's part of the reason why i kind of started switching over to limited stuff because people craft it and i'm supporting another player which in turn if somebody's crafting that Hopefully they're buying that stuff off the market, which then increases the value of it because there's a demand for it. So then in turn, when I go hunting, I can turn around and sell my stuff. So... I don't know, it's something to kind of think about. I don't think that, like, Entropia Universe probably is never going to get to that point. But if you're a person who's going to do a lot of buying and selling and trading among players, if you really think about it, you almost don't want to use unlimited items. Like, unlimited items kind of hurt the economy to a certain extent. And I'm not saying, like, people shouldn't play with them. You know, they're there. People invest money in them and stuff, and you can, you can make decent ped with them. But if you want your loot to, to continue to have value, it it makes sense to, to buy people's stuff, buy the crafter's items, because then, in turn, your loot becomes valuable because the crafters are buying it. You know, it, it's kind of a cycle that you want to try to keep going. The key to it, though, of that cycle is getting to the top of it where you're making money off of it. That's the tricky part. Whether we like it or not, we all need each other in Entropia Universe. That's the only way this game is going to continue to flourish and progress. I don't know, what do you guys think? Or am I just talking out of my butt? Oh, I'm gonna get murdered again.
was actually thinking about making a video on this this very subject of whether or not we as players should focus on using limited or unlimited gear. I think I think there's a lot of room for debate on that subject, and I'm I'm really curious to see what other people's opinions are. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure there's some people out there with some very strong opinions. On the matter. Looks like we're doing pretty decent gun wise here. Close to leveling up here on the codex. Nah, we still got a long ways to go. Crap, I'm gonna die again. I don't normally die this much, but I also am usually a little bit more focused. Wise. I came in with about 300 ped worth of ammo. Ooh, it looks like we might be might be ahead on ammo plus plus loot, a couple strong boxes. Do an A-OK. -okay. I usually seem to have pretty good luck with Merry Mayhem. Well, Mayhem in general. I mean, I'm not like hitting massive globals or anything, but I usually get at least most of my shrapnel back. Which makes it fun, because then I can keep hunting. Nothing sucks more than going out hunting and burning through all your ammo and nothing to do. Wait for your stuff to sell on auction or craft it and then wait for that stuff to sell on auction. Scrappy Overload, are you planning on going big for Summer Mayhem? Um, that's a good question. I guess it de depends on your, your definition of going big. Um, I'm probably going to be in Category 2 by then, I would hope. Actually, there's uh, an Easter Mayhem, too, in the spring. That'll be in a couple of months. 
Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll take, take, uh, take, participate in the, the Easter and the Summer Mayhem. That's, uh, something I kind of want to do more regularly. This is actually my first Merry Mayhem that I've, uh, participated in, at least all the way through, hopefully. I still got ten and a half hours to go. Um, but now that I've started up, goodness gracious, but now that I've started up the YouTube channel and I'm making videos on a regular basis, um, I like the Mayhems for live streaming. Uh, just because there's always kind of something going on. They take a long time. They work really well for live streaming. Unfortunately, I'm not made of money, so I can't live stream Entropia Universe every day. I'm kind of getting to the point where I log in just long enough to make videos. And then that's that's about it. And then I deposit a little bit of money each month. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do the summer mayhem as long as I have the money for it, which I don't see why I won't. Now, as far as, like, the the migration goes, I don't know how much of that I'm going to do. We'll have to, we'll have to see. One thing I want to do is get through as many of the old iron hunting missions for Planet Calypso before those are up. And it completely switches over to the Codex, because there is a lot of skill points in those iron missions that I would like to take advantage of before they completely disappear. One of them being the uh, Aatrox. Yeah, the Aatrox. I think almost every tier for the Aatrox and the old Iron Missions is gives you either Evade or Dodge skills, which are very, very valuable for hunting and can be kind of hard to get a hold of. So I would really like to do a lot of Aatrox hunting in the future here. Uh, the only reason I haven't really jumped into that yet is I'm still kind of not quite up to skill. Like, I can hunt them, but not, not efficiently. Part of that is, is I don't have good enough armor yet. I'm still rocking the adjusted pixie. I probably really need to suck it up and buy some ghost armor. And then... I think once I switch over to the LR20, I should be okay. I should be where I can hunt them very comfortably, where I don't have to heal up every every other shot. Because right now it's like I shoot them a couple times, heal, shoot them a few more times, heal, and then like the third time I'll finally drop them. And that's just, it's not, I don't find it efficient. It's a lot of work clicking between the guns and the healing devices and if they crit you then it's it's a mess. I try to I try to stay within my level or below my level. So I've been hunting a lot of uh, curbs for muscle oil because I do crafting too. I, I hunt for crafting. So I'm hunting the curbs for muscle oil and then I've been hunting Argonauts roughly around like level 8 to 10 for eye oil and then I'm using that to make the simple conductors and then turning around and selling those on market. And I've been doing pretty good. It's been working out for me. I hope that answers your question. I kind of, like, went off on a tangent there.
which uh, I actually haven't really been using an intro. Or do you like the the thumbnails better? Hey, what's going on, Smashbox? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, I've been trying so hard to make those thumbnails better. It's uh, It's been a learning experience, for sure. But, yeah, I got, I got rid of my video intro. Uh, partly because I switched up my logo quite a bit. I had the, the little cloaked guy for a while, and uh, now I got the, the logo on my, my main page, but I didn't make a video intro. I feel like it's just unnecessary, um, and sometimes it was kind of hard to work into videos, and a lot of people seem to have very short attention spans, and um, that can kind of prevent people from watching the video, or they'll leave early. So. I just decided to ditch the little intro clip. But Yeah, trying to trying to make my thumbnails look better has definitely been one of my priorities lately. Ooh, another, another token there. Nice. We're up to three now. It's pretty decent. I'd really like to get some something neat out of the mayhem vendor. Either like a cool gun or an armor set or something. But I only got. Maybe like 150 tokens so far, so I got a long ways before I can actually buy something cool. Unless I get an unlimited item. Or a limited item, excuse me. Those are quite a bit cheaper. I do like that they let you roll over the the tokens from each mayhem so that you don't have to use them per per mayhem so to speak now they're decent one four and a half pet that's what I like to see. That's how I know I'm doing good. If you get some decent drops where it's a little bit higher than the rest, you're doing good. 
the uh, mayhem boxes. Uh, it's funny you should ask. So the the Halloween ones I ended up selling, and the Halloween one or the Merry Merry Mayhem ones, I'm actually probably gonna open a couple of them at least because the last time I deposited. They, I had just gotten the, the Christmas gift box that they give you. And I was a little irritated that they they give you a strong box as a present, but they don't give you a key for it. So in order to open it, you have to buy keys, which I feel is a little distasteful. I was actually fairly irritated with it. I mean, I guess you could sell it. But I was still pretty annoyed. But anyways, long story short, when I deposited, I ended up buying some keys. So I could open my Christmas strong box, which didn't have anything substantial in it. And so I got a couple leftover keys. So I'll probably open up a couple more. And then once I'm out of keys, I'm just going to sell the rest of the boxes. Come on. They do have some good stuff in them, though. If you if you get lucky enough to get a ring, you've made decent money. If you get the ring, though, that's that's the big question. Another good drop, nice. All right, I'm going to start another one here. I got to go do something real quick. I'll be right back in like a minute. All right, I'm back. Obviously, you can see my face, whatnot. <clears throat> Made the mistake of pouring myself a giant glass of water and then you know what happens when you drink a lot of water gotta use the bathroom don't know what I was thinking there But yeah, if anybody's watching the stream and is interested in buying strong boxes, I think I only got two more keys left, and I know I got another like five or six boxes in my storage, so if you're interested in buying them, you're... hit me up. Definitely gonna sell them at some point.
Looks like we're gonna have to cycle over on ammo here pretty soon. Got six pet there. Not too bad. That's down maybe about 15 ped ammo for ammo wise. Which I think is probably about average. Shouldn't, shouldn't take too much to get us back over the uh, the peak. It only takes like one decent drop and then you're back ahead in the green. Apple dude, you're still here. Yeah, I'd kill for an all-time high. I really doubt they're going to drop it in Category 1, though. It'd be pretty crazy, though. Actually, if they were smart, they should drop some of the bigger loots into, like, lower categories around lower mobs keep the keep the new people interested not that the ubers don't deserve you know big fat globals but spread the wealth out guys That's uh that's always been one of my ideas for for Mind Arc. So they've really I don't know if you want to say struggled with advertising in Trophy Universe. Like everybody that you talk to in the gaming community has no idea that this game even exists. And that's mostly because they don't advertise the game at all. So I always thought what they should do is they should just drop like a ridiculous all time high, like absurd like hundred thousand us dollar one and then advertise the crap out of it like blow it up in the news media and get like everybody in the gaming community talking about this game and it would pull in so many people or at least on paper you know that's how it would work but i think you know if they drop like a hundred thousand dollar loot or something that would really blow up. Whether or not they have the means to do that, I don't know. I don't I don't work in their accounting department, unfortunately, so no idea what they got to play with. But I thought that'd be a good idea, you know. Guy makes a hundred thousand dollars playing a video game. And then just plaster it all over social media. Bring in some fresh blood into the game.
and 2100 will all be playing this game for survival. <laughs> Man, I don't even know if I'm going to be around in 2100. No, I'm not I'm not going to get around in 2100. I'd be 127 years old. God, I better be dead by that. I think nursing homes are going to be lit in like 50 years everybody's gonna be it's gonna be like just a giant land party of people sitting around eating pudding and playing video games it's gonna be the time of our lives that's what I look forward to being old sitting in the nursing home eating pudding playing in trophy universe hashtag goals Oh, you think they're gonna invent immortality by before 2100? All right. I mean, I'm not opposed. Oh, that's right, you're a big wow guy. That could be fun, eating pudding, playing classic WoW. Yes, yes. I could get behind that idea. I don't know, I think robots before immortality. Unless they figure out how to like put our consciousness in robots to then make us immortal. I'd also be okay with that. You directly oppose the robot rebellion. I never got into RuneScape. That was uh, one game I kind of missed the boat on. Actually, I kind of missed the I missed the boat on a lot of games. Never got to experience classic WoW. RuneScape is like one of those games that like unless you played it and have the nostalgia I feel like it would be really really hard to get into it nowadays Oh really you're a late player too on RuneScape Interesting Everybody that I know who still plays it remembers playing it in like middle school 
which I never did. I was I was always a console warrior for many, many years. But that's because my parents had terrible computers growing up. We were always like five operating systems behind. It was a it was a dark, dark time in my life. Actually, funny thing is, Entropia Universe is actually the game that got me into, like, online PC gaming. Up until then, it was always offline. Old school gaming's good too. I still play a lot of old stuff from not as often as I used to, but I still got like my N64 and I got my my uh, PS2. I got a bunch of emulators for the PS1 on my computer somewhere. I should bust that out one of these days. So when did you start playing Counter-Strike? Like, did you start playing it back in the day, or was this more recently? Oh yeah, that was quite a while ago then. Counter-Strike Strike looks like a cool game. I was kind of looking at it for a little while, because now it's... I believe it went free-to-play? And, uh... I thought about playing it, but I just, I don't really have the time to really get into it. Also, I get very ragey when I'm playing competitive online games. Yeah, I'll be on for a while still. Bring me back something from Wendy's, dude. Borderlands? Borderlands has been going really good. I'm, uh, thanks for bringing that up, actually. I finally am starting to get some videos out for that. You probably have already noticed. Um, I got most of my characters level or not leveled up, but I got them through the story mode so I can start playing on the like the end game content with them. It's been a lot of fun. I really really enjoy it. The 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 story for it was. 
wasn't all that spectacular, but the, the end game content is really, really good. I like all the, like, they got the certain different survival modes and stuff. Uh, they added a, a four-person raid, which is pretty cool. They just dropped the, the latest DLC for it. I played through that. That was really good. Um, even just, like, farming I find really fun. Trying to find the really rare legendary guns. Um, I'm planning on dropping a few more videos for that. Hopefully pretty soon here. Maybe tonight if I get some time I'll work on one, but I don't know. I've actually been having so much fun playing it. I haven't been making all that many videos for it. So. But I'll kind of buckle down here a little bit and push some more content out. Scrappy, you ever play any of the, the Borderland games? Really? You're a huge Borderlands fan. That's awesome. Like that's that's really cool that I I managed to pick two games that that you really like. Um yeah, no dude, like 3 is the main, like I said, the main story is definitely nowhere near as good as 2. I don't think they'll ever, oh, crap. Um, I don't think they'll ever make a game as good as 2 as far as the story goes. Um, but grinding for loot in this one is a lot of fun. The end game content is amazing. The DLC is really, really good. I actually like the DLC story, the, the Moxie's Heist, way better than the main story for the game. Uh, which is kind of sad, but I think a lot of that has to do with the new villains they used. They're just, I don't know, they're really cheesy. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints with the game. It's got some, it's got a lot of bugs in it still, especially with the multiplayer been noticing we've been having a lot of issues me and my friends um but yeah otherwise it's a good game do you play that on pc or do you play console too
was actually planning on doing some live streams with Borderlands as well one of these days. Looks like I'm gonna need a new chip here pretty soon. That sucks. Oh, you play on PS4? Nice. Seems like a lot of people play that game on PlayStation for whatever reason. I play on uh, Xbox. I was gonna say, if I if I had it for PlayStation, we could totally meet up in game and I'd do some stuff. But unfortunately, I'll, I thought they were talking about doing crossplay with it for a while. I don't know if that's a thing yet, though. I hope it goes crossplay because then I can play with a whole lot more people. Come on, you. chip is not going to hold up. That's unfortunate. Got a little bit on that first gen chip, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Hungry. Quarter to seven. Probably should ah balls. Probably should have ate before I started this. Oh well. What character do I prefer? So right now I main a Zane. The, uh, 
heck is he called? I don't know. He's like a kind of like a commando. He has the the digi clone and the squad shield, and uh, what was the other thing he has? The little drone. Um, he's a he's a lot of fun to play with. I've I've got a really good build going on him. I just finished getting Flack, the Beast Tamer, through the story mode, and I have Moe's, the, the one with the mech, all the way through the game as well. I haven't played Amara yet, but I'd say my favorite is still Zane. Um, probably followed by Moe's. Moe seems to have some pretty good perks in her tree. I like the mech. The mech is a lot of fun. So, I don't have her up to level 50 yet, but I should be... Probably this week I'll probably get her up to 50 sometime. And then play around with her skill trees and make some crazy OP build. I played uh, Zero in the last game, Borderlands 2. He was kind of my main character. I don't even remember who I played the in the first one. I kind of so like um, a friend got me into Borderlands because I I just played the first and second one like a year or two ago is when I kind of got into the franchise, and so we kind of like powered through the first game and just to kind of get some background information on it and stuff, and then we kind of took took our sweet time through the second one and we finished that because then we knew the third one was coming out fairly soon and I never did finish the pre-sequel I played an hour or two into it and wasn't overly interested in it that and I was just I'm always busy it seems like I always got something going on I always got time for video games but like I'm always busy with other video games which prevents me from playing other games that I want to play. I don't have enough <laughs> don't have enough time to play all the video games I want to play unfortunately. Which who knows if this if this YouTube thing works out, maybe I can make some money and cut down to like part-time at work and spend a day or two during the week just playing video games and making videos and stuff. That'd be pretty dope. But I'm a long ways away from that point. If I even get to that point. I'd be happy just to make 100 bucks a month to jump into Entropia Universe. That's the real dream. <laughs> just make enough to play Entropia. But you know what? Even if I don't make money off of YouTube, that's okay too. It's been a learning experience. I've gotten a lot of really valuable skills out of it. And it's it's fun. It's it's my hobby right now. And I'm perfectly fine if it stays that way forever, you know. It uh it kinda adds like a new new element to my to my gaming. Yeah, the, the pre-sequel, I, I heard it's got a lot of the, the information for the... Covers a lot of, of the lore for uh, 2. Which, I'm not super invested into the, the whole story of Borderlands. Like, it's, it's decent. Um... But yeah, like that would be like the only reason I could really see me going back for playing the pre-sequel is for the lore. Um, I don't know if it's got a ton of replayability. For a beginner? I'm assuming you're talking about three because you've obviously played the other ones. Um, whew. <sighs> 
You know, there's not really a bad choice, honestly. You could play any character and do really well. I think uh, it kind of depends on your play style and what you find interesting. So, like, if you played a Siren in the previous games, you might want to roll with Armara and play her Siren. Um, otherwise, if you like, what was it, the Commando who had, like, the Squad Shield and the Turret, um, I would go with Zane. Zane would be my choice, just because I enjoy him and he's he's pretty versatile. He's probably not the most OP player, but I think he's probably like pretty well rounded as far as his skill set goes and what he can all do. Um, a lot of people really like Flack. Um, I didn't, from what I've played with him, I don't really enjoy him all that much. He seems very dependent on his pet. Which I don't really like. Um, and I just... I don't really find it fun to be, like, commanding the pet to go and attack stuff. But that's just me. Some people like that. I've never really liked playing a, a beast master in any game. Um, otherwise, Moe's would probably be my second choice. I'd say either Zane or Moe's. Um, Moe's has got some really really crazy builds that you can do with her especially end game um she's pretty nuts so i guess to answer your question i would say either zane or moe's would be very good choices for a, <clears throat> a beginner And I would definitely pick up the Season Pass or get the, I think the Super Deluxe Edition comes with it. Which you might be better off buying the game that way than buying the Pass separate. I know it's kind of a lot of money, but they got, just the first DLC was amazing. And they got, I think, three or four more coming for sure. I de definitely recommend getting the season pass. Ooh, it's gonna kill me. Nope. Nice. What characters have you played in Borderlands 2? Or did you just play all the characters? So I'm kind of debating about how long I should keep this stream going. I got five viewers, which is fantastic. That's way more than I thought I was going to have. Um, so everybody who's kind of come in, filtered in later, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you know you can watch more live streams. I also post trophy videos all the time. Um, I'm also trying to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm at like... 87 I think the last time I checked so if you haven't hit that subscribe button that'd be fantastic I'd really appreciate that
Oh, okay, you played the soldier too. Yeah, I don't remember his name. Then you'd probably like Zane. I don't know if the Siren is as good as it was in previous games. Like, there's some there's some people who have some really good Siren builds out there. Um, but as far as, like, comparing Borderlands 2 to Borderlands 3 Sirens, I think the, the previous ones were a little bit more fun to play. Um, but I can't say 100%. I can't say for sure 100% because I haven't personally played the Siren yet. Kind of on my to-do list. But I really don't want to grind through the whole story a fourth time again. Anytime soon. Because I just pounded through it like twice in the last week. And that was, that was a lot. Oh boy. I'm going to go at least until this chip burns out, and then we'll see how the level 1 does. But if I can't heal fast enough with that, I might, uh, might end it there. We've been live streaming for a little over two hours now. It's pretty decent. If the if the one the level one chip can hold up, then I might keep going here. Do I have any other chips on me? Nah, I just got the level four and the level one, unfortunately. How's everybody enjoying the stream so far? I feel like it's going pretty smooth for my first one. I don't know if you guys got any suggestions, what I could do to, to make it better. Maybe not use broken guns. Um, I, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of winging this. I'm figuring this out as I go. I've never really done this before. I mean, I've, I've messed around with Twitch a little bit. Um, first time on YouTube though, so. Uh, if you think I should add something or if I'm doing something wrong, you know, should my microphone be louder? Should my game be louder, quieter, or something like that? I don't know. Is the lighting terrible? Should I wear a bag over my head? I don't know. Let me know. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Maybe 
Maybe I shouldn't pull him towards the respawn terminal. Come on. Hey, Apple Dude's back. Up for the bag. <laughs> Come on now. This is mean. I got a sloth head I could put over my head. Or at least, you know, if you brought me some Wendy's, I'm sure that came in a bag. I could put that over my face. Oh, this guy hits like a truck. Really, really pissed off truck. Yes, you could be my homegirl Wendy from Idaho. Interesting. You're from Idaho? Or you think I'm from Idaho? No, I don't know. Enlighten me. I mean, I don't need your, like, exact mailing address or anything, but, I mean, I'm kind of curious. Oh, really? Wendy's is from Idaho? Really? I didn't know that it started there. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Might not be useful, but I learned something. But I don't eat at Wendy's a whole lot to be to be totally honest with you. We don't really have a lot of them in Wisconsin. Some of the bigger cities have them, but I don't have one anywhere near me. I'm either eating at a Culver's or a A&W, which, unless you're from Wisconsin, you probably don't know what either of those are. I think that's part of the reason why I like Entropia Universe so much. It's like you never know who you're going to bump into and like where they're from. And I don't get out like a whole lot. Like I've been out of Wisconsin and stuff, but like I've never been out of the States. And uh, it's, I find it interesting to, to meet and like talk with people from like different countries and stuff. Learn a little bit about their culture. Not a clue. Yeah, I kind of figured nobody was going to know what they, they were. 
They're uh, they make some fantastic burgers and cheese curds. If you ever, if you're ever in Wisconsin, I know it sounds weird, but you got to get cheese curds. Best food ever. In my opinion. Preferably the deep fried ones. Oh man, I could kill for some cheese curds right about now. Y'all got me hungry. For bratwurst. I could go for a bratwurst right about now. Which, you guys probably don't know what that is either. Jeez. Maybe you do. I don't know. Looks like, uh, the right one. Looks like, uh, Julian McBain is on online. Pretty sure that's who that is. He pumps out quite a bit of content, Julian got all his Saturday vlogs. Anybody else watch Julian McBain? Man, what are you hunting fowls for? I feel like you're asking to lose money on that. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. All right, I gotta get rid of some of these shortcuts. Uh-oh. There we go. You're not that much of a noob. You're like me, mediocre. We know just enough to be dangerous. To ourselves, mostly. And our bank accounts. Definitely the bank accounts. Another decent drop, all right. <laughs> Maybe you should jump into Mayhem. I've been getting some decent hits all night. Plus a Swirly, so, you know, that's always a good sign. Dang, 
Nine pad. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you, Apple dude. Um, another, speaking of YouTubers, since you do a lot of mining, he doesn't make videos anymore, but I think they're still all posted on YouTube, is uh, you should look up Pig Bennis, P-I-G, Bennis. I don't remember how to spell it, <laughs> but you should be able to find it. Anyways, he does a uh, bunch of mining videos. They're a little bit older, but he's got some really good stuff. You should check him out. I think you'd like his, his content. And, I mean, anybody else who's watching the stream, go check him out if you're into to mining for sure. I've actually found some really good mining spots just from watching him. Actually, the my Let's Go Mining video where I re revealed my secret mining location... I actually found that location by watching his old mining videos. Um, but yeah, he's he's got some good stuff. Does a lot of hell mining. Which I'd love to go mine hell. Looks like a lot of fun, but... No money, no skill. Can't do it. So I just sit here and chill. Really? That's hilarious. Man, I wish I wish he would come back and make make videos. He had really good stuff, but um I actually, I think he was working for Mind Arc for a while, and he, I don't know if he still is, maybe, maybe he's not, but I think towards the end of his videos, he kind of alluded to that, and I wonder if they kind of closed out his account, because I think they do that when you, when you work for the company, but I'm not sure, I'm just kind of guessing, and I'm about to die. Way to go, Cloak. Yeah, man, he hit some big freaking ones, dude. Like, a lot. But, I mean, he was, he was always mining with, like, at least a level 5 amplifier. And a lot of times he was using, like, level 8s. He was insane. But he was definitely playing like more in the prime, I think, of Entropy Universe, which helped a lot. The markup on his on his ores and end matter are just so much higher than what they are now. Even like the low stuff is he's actually able to get decent markup on it and actually make money. Cause I don't think he deposited. Or towards the end he wasn't depositing, he was making more than enough money to, to play and withdraw. Yeah, I, I binge-watched him before I even... While I was having my computer built to play in Trophy Universe, that's all I did was, like, sit around and watch uh, pig videos of him mining. And then I finally got the game, and I started mining, and then I lost all my money. I was like, phooey, going to hunting. it playing some entropia hanging out with some awesome awesome people 
I gotta do this more often. This is fun. This is going so much better than I thought it was gonna go. Honestly, like, I was really nervous about live streaming. That's probably the biggest reason why I've been putting it off. But now that I'm doing it, and it's going good... Kind of excited about doing it again soon. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you prefer a live stream or do you guys like having videos that you can watch at your own leisure with a very specific subject matter where I just don't ramble on for hours on end about whatever we decide to talk about? gonna pull a third one again come at me bro Ooh, 24 24 <laughs> why not both good point Both is, both is good. I'm probably going to mostly do videos for now. But I'd like to do more live streams. Definitely up for it. I like the, I like the live interaction, being able to like talk to you guys directly and get a fairly quick answer. Granted, there's a lot of lag with the, with the stream, but... I don't have to sometimes wait days for a response or not get a response at all. Like being able to ask questions on the fly. But. Chip is about to break. Hey, what's going on? Is it Rana's 420? I'm sorry, I'm t I'm really, really bad with names. I'm fairly dyslexic and reading as a struggle most of the time so if i butchered your name i'm really sorry but thanks for stopping by saying hello how's it going Should I just call you 420 for short? <clears throat> I mean, to be fair... I didn't know how to pronounce Abel Dude's name until I actually watched his videos and he said his own name in it. I'm glad you're doing well. Mayhem's been treating me actually really, really well. I'm in category one. I've gotten one global for, I think it was like 52 ped. And I've had quite a few bigger hits nothing too crazy but i've had a couple for like 20 ped 
15 pad, you know, up up in that area. I've been really struggling tonight with not dying. But again, that's a lot to do with I'm I'm looking at the stream chat all the time trying to pay attention to that. But yeah, otherwise it's going great. Love the love the uh the intro Abel dude. I like your name. It's actually really fun to say. Abel Abel dude, Abel dude, Abel Abel dude. I like saying it. I think it's fun. It's a fun name. So, do you guys have, like, a story behind your, your YouTube names? I don't know if you use them as gamer tags, too. I always find it interesting when people have neat stories behind their, their gamer tags. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Oh, I'm gonna die. And my chip's broken. Crap. Do a mashup rap? That would be interesting. Well, I was just curious if it was, like, a nickname that somebody gave you in school or something. I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm reading too far into it. So, like, I guess, like, I was kind of thinking of, like... So my name is is Cloak and Daggerish, obviously. Um, but how I came up with it is, I was having a friend over to play video games, and we were playing. I think it was GameCube, and he asked me if if uh, he needed to bring over controllers or whatever. And I was like, No, dude, I got controllers. And he's like, Are they name brand controllers? I'm like, No, they're off brand. It's all good. And he's like, What what kind of brand are they? Like Mad Cats or whatever. I'm like, No, they're no name. And he's like, Ooh. How cloak and daggerish of you. I was like, cloak and daggerish? That'd make an awesome gamer tag. And so I've been just rolling it with it ever since. I've been using it for a couple of years. Abel dude, it was freshman year of high school. PlayStation 3 just released. Never had an Xbox. Needed a name. So legit. I came up with Abeldude. Why? My name legit just means obnoxious beavis and butthead. <laughs> it it's kind of random, but I dude, I like it. Stick with it, man. Own it. Freaking own it. I don't know if it's better.
obnoxious be but that's <laughs> that's hilarious if you would have gave me a million tries i never would have guessed that is what it stood for never ever 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 would have guessed that Wow, that's awesome. 10 to 12 years. That's a long time. But it's legit. I can respect it. Ronis420. What's the story behind your name? Dude, honestly, if they do guess it, they've, they've earned that million dollars. Hands down. Stupid chip, come on. One hundred percent. Man, this is going pretty quick. Rolling up on three hours here. Tom flies when you're streaming with your buddies. Nice, five pen. Are you using the uh, the mic on your headset, Apple dude? Evade. I'm surprised actually how good your sound quality is with your headset mic. I tried using the the mic on my HyperX headset and it was just garbage. I couldn't get it loud enough and then like I would boost the mic volume on it and then I'd just get all kinds of like static feedback from it and stuff. You just hit 1k of sweat now. Did you start sweating when you pulled up my stream or were you already sweating, Scrappy? That's a, that's a long time. Turtle Beach isn't bad. I really like my HyperX. Um, I just, I don't know, it doesn't work good with my computer setup for whatever reason but like on xbox it works great nobody ever complains about it and then for my first couple videos i ditched the headset mic 
and I was using my uh, webcam microphone, and that was ungodly awful. It sounded like I was under underwater or something. So then I kind of bit the bullet and bought a a blue Yeti. Scrappy Overload, dude. I okay. I'm looking at my timer counter right now. I'm at two hours and forty five minutes for one thousand K sweat. Bro, that's rough, man. I mean, kudos for you for for uh, sweating it out, but man, that's a lot of time. When I first started playing, man, I sweated like all the time. That's all I ever did. Like I was gonna be that that non-depositor guy. I was gonna be the next serial overdrive. Actually, I don't know if he was making YouTube videos at that time, but I was trying so hard not to put money into this game. And back then, this was like five, six years ago now almost. I've been playing this forever. Um, swirlies! Woo! Swirlies! Alright, sorry to blow out your eardrums. <laughs> but uh, back when I started, five, six years ago, uh, it was like two pet a K, two, two point two, if, if you held out. And I thought it was too, too low back then. I can't imagine trying to sell sweat nowadays. That scrappy overload says Turtle Beach as well. Maybe I maybe I should get myself some Turtle Beaches. Or better yet, a sponsor from Turtle Beach. No, you did not put a hundred dollars in and lose it all in the first day. No way. Thank you for the grats, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Very excited, as you could tell. Seriously, dude, a hundred dollars in the first day? My wife would have killed me if I would have blew through that much money that fast in a video game. Oh, man. I feel like I need to light you a candle or something in condolence for your, for the loss of your money. Give it a little eulogy. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Ah, I'm dead again. Well, I guess that's how you learn, right? I don't know. That's... Oh, yeah, dude. I, I wouldn't touch the game either if I lost 100 bucks in a day. Like, that's that's part of the reason I started putting out Entropia videos. Like, granted, like, Serial Overdrive does a fantastic job of making videos. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I wanted to be kind of more part of the community and definitely help people not make the same mistakes that you and I have made. Granted, I haven't lost $100 in a day, but um, I've certainly pissed away my own share of PED throughout the years. Um, but, yeah, definitely to kind of help new players to kind of get through that over the hump of, you know, learning the game and, and how to spend your money. Granted, I mean, I think you're going to lose money in the beginning no matter what you do. Unless you get really, really lucky and hit something big, but... Um, most people don't. I didn't. So, and, and there's just... There's a lot of information on this game. There's a lot to learn. So if I can help people out, 
you know. It's a nice way to kind of give back to the community. I might have to call it here pretty soon, guys. This, this level 1 chip is not keeping up. I, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool that you, like, help people out and show them what not to do. Just make sure that you tell them not to do this or, like, you know, caution. You might lose a lot of pet doing this. Because otherwise, man, like, it might come back to bite you. You always get people that get all pissed off because well, you told them something and then they took it for, for realsies and lose all their money, but... But yeah, it's cool that you can show people that that's what happens. <laughs> Get yourself a nice map with Bap away. Bap all day, every day. Fapping is, wouldn't be a bad career choice. I think it's just, it's hard to get started as far as like setting up a, like a business and getting clients and stuff. Cause a lot of people aren't looking for S10 healers, which is what everybody is advertising themselves as. But like, once you get like a better healing tool, I think you can make some pretty decent uh, pet healing hunters. Ubers always seem to have extra money to throw away. Bob silent. What's up? Glad you could stop by, bud. I'm gonna die. This chip is not working. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know how to say Bob's name either until I think it was a Lord Spade video. He said his name. That's how I learned how to pronounce it. I could really use a fapper right about now, man. Gotta admit, this is a big day for me. First lime, sh lime stream, live stream, and I got two other YouTubers in my chat right now. Never thought that would ever happen. I bet you'd give me a fap. You're just a really nice guy. Real nice like that. I don't care if you say fap. I think it's hilarious. Bob, I do what I can. You've helped me out tremendously, my friend. And I'm sure you've helped out Abel Dude quite a bit, too. 
You've brought in a lot of traffic to my channel. I gotta thank you for that, man. You're an awesome dude. <laughs> oh, Abel, dude. You're my hero. I want to be just like you when I grow up. I'm at six viewers. Two of them are YouTubers. So the rest of you, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. If you haven't heard of these guys, Abel Dude and Bob Silent, both got YouTube channels. Go check them out. Hit those guys up with a sub. You won't reg I cannot talk today. I can't ever talk. You guys won't regret it. Hit those guys with the sub. This is why I don't like live streaming, man. I trip over my my tongue so much. Like, I can edit all that out of a video and I can make myself not look stupid. I think Bob has got actually a really, and like, I feel that it's very impressive for like as much as you've accomplished with your channel for like, because generally you, you'd feel like videos where there isn't like a lot of talking and it's like mostly scripted. Those videos in general don't seem to do very well, but like you seem to make it work. I mean, you've got a decent sized channel for, for a uh, Entropia YouTuber anyways. I think, don't you have like 1,200 subs? Abel, dude, you know, if it works, it works, fam. You do you. <laughs> but. Dude, streaming is crazy different. It's fun, but it's, ah, man, it's, it's hard. Yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, I mean. Like, anybody who says that streaming or like doing youtube isn't a job or that it's really easy and anybody can do it obviously has have there i go again haven't done it like there's so much involved in it and like making decent videos and making good content that people actually want to watch just like boggles my mind and like every day i'm learning something new and learning just how hard it was for like big name YouTubers to get to like where they are today. A lot of respect for those guys. Does this watch time count towards my video time? Because if it does, that's really freaking awesome. That's gross. Ooh, nine pad. That's what I like to see. It does, really. Well, balls, you guys are helping me out heaps tons. Heap, heap tons? Crap tons. You're helping me out t crap tons. Dude, that's... I gotta live stream more then. That's awesome. I did not know that. It's gonna be interesting to see how... Really, it 
prioritizes live streams now over her videos? Did not know that. Very cool. Uh, ah, crap. <clears throat> but I'm curious to see, because I can't, unfortunately, I can't afford to live stream YouTube, or YouTube, uh, Entropy Universe on a very regular basis, but I'd like to do some other games. I was going to do some Borderlands live streaming, but... <sighs> I don't know how hard that's going to be. What? I'm ranked number three under Entropia Universe? No way. Nah, get out of here. That's really cool. I mean, not that it's like a massive community or anything, but I mean, to be number three on anything on the internet, I think is impressive. Regardless of the size of the community. Well, now I might just have to. What, just search YouTube and Tropia Universe? Lord Spade is just an awesome YouTuber in general. Alright, I, I gotta check this. Look at that! We're number three, folks. That's awesome. Bob, you headed over there right now? Is he? I didn't check to see if he was online or not, but. Thanks for stopping in, uh, Bob. Yeah, definitely go check out uh, Lord Spade's Fallout runs. Um, Abel, dude. Ditch. Yeah, definitely ditch. Well, I shouldn't say totally ditch. Twitch. <laughs> ditch Twitch. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so I actually, before I started doing the, the whole YouTube channel about six months before that, I started doing... Twitch, and I had, like, no growth on there whatsoever. Like, it's so hard to get people to go to Twitch or to, like, for people to find you on Twitch. And that's what I really, really love about YouTube is you don't have to maintain a ridiculous streaming schedule. You can, like, just put out videos at your leisure and people kind of find you that way and subscribe. And then when you do live stream and you have subscribers... They're pretty awesome and they swing by and say hello. Like you guys have today. Oh, awesome. And it's just the way you had worded it, it sounded like you were going over to Lord Spade, which by all means is totally fine with me. I'm glad that you even stopped by and said hello. But, so I guess if you really wanted to be a Twitch streamer, what I would recommend is build your audience here on YouTube. And once you have a decent number of followers, you could do all your live streaming on Twitch and then just post all your videos on YouTube. But you need to build that audience first. And that's kind of something I'm kind of maybe considering for the future. Come on here. Is, uh... I'm clicking the wrong chip here. Is, uh... Building the audience on YouTube, and then maybe I'll switch over to Twitch for the live streaming at some point. But I think for now, it's just going to stick with the YouTubes.
Yeah, it's it's a great plan. The reverse ninja. Yeah, kind of. I mean... I don't want to say, like, Ninja got lucky. Because, like... I So I, I have a lot of respect for Ninja. Don't get me wrong. I was into Fortnite for a while. I followed him pretty closely for a while. And kind of watched him rise in his career. But he did kind of get lucky where he did like kind of jump on that Fortnite wave and that kind of pushed him to the forefront. Um, but yeah, yeah, kind of going for the reverse ninja thing. Let's get big on YouTube. I'd love to get monetized. That'd be huge. I've been kind of thinking of, like, what I could do for monetization. Because, obviously, I haven't hit that thousand subs yet. So, it's going to be a while before I can start getting money from the ads. I was thinking about maybe... Um, maybe doing Patreon. But I don't really have a whole lot that I can offer people. Other than, like, I can put your name at the end of my credits as, like, a supporter. Which... Some people might be into that. Um, but otherwise, I was kind of almost looking into doing, like, merchandising. Like, making... Having, like, t-shirts and stuff made. Because you can do that for, like, nothing now. They have that all set up through OBS. The whole Drake thing, he got, somehow he got hit Drake's attention on, I think it was like Instagram or something, is how he was able to get his attention, and then that's kind of how that transpired, but that really blew him up. I think that's what really tipped him over the top, is when him and that Drake stream really blew him up, but no, he's he's definitely, he's good. I'm not, I'm... Not saying that he's not a good, not good at video games by any means. I, he's good. I'm just saying like his his explosion of like followers. He kind of just was in the right place at the right time. But he was smart enough to put him. Ah, oh, god dang it! <laughs> I'm getting too too enwrapped in the conversation and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But um, he was smart enough to put himself in a position where he could, you know, explode and become a um, big streamer like he did. Patreon, uh, I mean, I nixed mine over politics, but it does work. Not quite sure what you mean there, Bob. But, uh, we'll roll with it. I need a new chip. Oh, 
as I'm getting a lot of ammo too. Luke guys uh, not been kind. It's like I'm a down about 30 pet right about now. Give or take. Well, I guess the loot boxes kind of make up for that. Abel, dude, thank you so much for swinging by. You really helped keep this <laughs> stream alive. You really contributed to it, man. I really, really appreciate it. I love your content. Like I said, anybody who's watching who hasn't swung over to his channel, make sure you give that guy a sub. He's an awesome dude. He does awesome videos. And uh, I'll talk to you soon, Abel, dude. Uh, Bob Silence says, look it up. It's the month monthly donate to content creator service. I support some people. They ban, so I won't let them make money off anymore. But they collect donations for you. Yeah, so, like, I kind of I kind of understand it. I've done a little bit of research on it, but basically from what I understand, it's, it's a service... Like, you sign up for it, and people subscribe to you, and then, in turn, you can, like, provide the, like your subscribers with stuff. Like, you can include their names as supporters and, like, your credits of videos. You can have, like, exclusive videos just for them, uh, exclusive streams, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like a decent idea. I just... I feel like I don't really have anything to offer anybody through Patreon other than like, hey, I'm making YouTube videos, you know, you could donate to me monthly. Um, which, I mean, maybe some people will do. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm not big enough to really start trying to monetize my channel. Like, I need to keep focus on growing it, but it would be nice to have some extra money coming in so that I could you know put it into the stream in some shape or form whether if I was putting money into Entropia Universe so I can make videos or even just uh, making my gear a little bit better there's a few things I want to buy for my room um, one I need to get a different computer monitor right now I you can't tell because of the way I got the camera situated I have a 32 inch TV as my second monitor and my neck is, like, getting sore from, like, looking all the way across the screen to see my viewer count and stuff. Um, so an another computer monitor would be nice. I wanted to get some of those, like, foam boards and stuff to put on the ceiling to kind of kill the echo a little bit. Granted, it's not too bad, fortunately, in here. Yeah, a suggestion box would be awesome. I always kind of, like, throw it out there in my videos. Well, not always, but in a couple of my videos, I'm like, hey, you know, if you got any ideas for my channel, I'm always open to the ideas. Team hunts would be... That's an interesting idea. Huh. I never thought about that. Do a, do a Patreon hunt for all the subscribers. I like the way you think, Bob. I like the way you think. That's actually a really good idea. I really like that. I might have to look into that. No, oh, he's another strong box. Oh, you used to have a Patreon? Hmm. 
I know, I think Serial Overdrive just opened one. I could be wrong. Or he might have had it for a while, but I thought he mentioned it in one of his videos recently, but... But he said, at least from what I understood, he had one where he just opened it. And he's like, if you want to support me through it, you could, you know, subscribe to him or whatever. But it didn't sound like he had a whole lot that he really wanted or was able to add to it. And I'm kind of in the same same boat, I feel like. But no, the, the team hunt is a good idea. Help, helping me out again, man. Yeah, I suppose you need a few more than two donators to uh, to fund yourself. But I mean, the fact that you were even able to get a donator or two, I I think is impressive. You know, that you can offer nice strong box and a token. Very cool. Um, that you're actually, you know, making stuff that was good enough that people wanted to support you and, like, be a bigger part of your channel. I think that's really cool that you were able to accomplish that, man. Yeah, it's yeah, like every every little bit helps. Like if you could make a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. Like six dollars goes a long way in Entropia Universe, where, you know, in the real world, maybe not so much. And that's where most of my money that I would potentially make would go into you um Entropia Universe and you know, just making better content. Giving back to who donated as best as I can. Small channels are awesome. I really like small channels as well. Um, just because, like... Not because, like, the creators are desperate, but, like they care a lot more because they're they are trying to grow a channel and they're definitely more opt to like interact with you and answer your questions and they they definitely put in more of an effort not that i'm saying that like the bigger guys don't care but like you don't get lost in the mix like when you only, when they only have a couple subscribers you get in there early and then if they do make it big then that name kind of sticks with them and it's you know um I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah, it's 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 neat to kind of be a part of something that will hopefully grow into something a whole lot bigger. And if not, it's you know it's still neat to to have that closeness with with somebody to gain that experience. Right, exactly. They haven't they haven't made it yet. You're kind of, and because they haven't made it yet, they almost, you become more of a friend to those, those few subscribers that you have, and they be, they're not so much just a number or, you know, a name on the screen. That's, you know, you get to know them a little bit. And that's honestly what I'm really looking forward to is getting to know people through YouTube. It's kind of a, a really different experience for me because I've never 
been a big social person. Like, I'm from a small town in Wisconsin. I don't know a lot of people, and I'm not, like, one to really reach out to people. So this is really going out of my comfort zone to a degree. But it's also neat to, like, um, kind of experience culture a little bit to a certain degree. Is like, meeting people from different parts of the world and kind of getting their perspective on things is really interesting to me. So what's new on your channel? I, I honestly I haven't been over there in a while. I feel kind of bad. Um, I seen you had a couple uh, crafting videos recently. I don't know if you're still doing a bunch of crafting runs. Really, Alaska? That's awesome. I've never made it up to Alaska. I've been over... Like, to most of the, the lower 48 states. I haven't been to all of them, but I've been to a lot of them. But um. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, burning through skill pills. Interesting. Are you, are you burning through them on, like, crafting runs? It's, it's funny that you mentioned it. I was, my my wife and I were talking about maybe doing a cruise up to Alaska with her with her parents, um, like next next fall maybe. It's still kind of up in the air, but I always thought it'd be cool to go visit. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do remember those those runs. The skilling runs. I think I commented on one of them where you got burned. Or no, it was the uh the video where you were crafting on full full condition for something. I think it was the filters. I think that's the last last video I've watched on your channel. I gotta get back over there. I'm missing out. I still feel like you got robbed on that, man. You should have got some... Like, even on the hits that you had on that full condition run, it should have been way bigger. I feel like, I don't know, I, it just doesn't seem like a great, I mean, it's cool that you did it and we all got to watch it, but 
I don't know, crafting for condition on anything that's really stackable just doesn't seem like a great idea to me, but that's just me. It'd be interesting to see it on, like, if you did, like, mining amps or, like, guns or something. Something like a high-ticket item, if that would make a bigger difference. Yeah, it could be the pill, too. Which is stupid. I wish they would find a like a better way to bring money into this game that wasn't 100% player based. Like if they could I always thought it would be interesting. So like, you know in the game they wait like there's already billboards and stuff in the game. What if they introduced like outside advertisement within the game? So like in, in literally in-game advertisement inside the game and like take some of that advertised money and like put that towards the loot pool or you know whatever so that we could have bigger bigger payouts oh yeah that's true use the residue so you get the the uh, higher condition gun No, you're you're hundred percent right on that, bud. But Right? Like so I would do I think they should have two separate billboard systems. Like they should keep the player based ones for the players. Like don't make us compete with commercial ones, you know. Cause there's there's shop owners and stuff that depend on that. I I'm all for that. But, like, we have billboards in-game. Source some outside companies to, to advertise within the game and then put that money back into Entropy Universe, either into the loot pool or cutting costs somewhere, making repairs cheaper, just somewhere so that we can get a little bit more of an edge. And, you know, I guess they could use some of that money and stuff to play, you know, pay their employees or they could use it to... Um, I was like going with this, like update the graphics and stuff, you know, fix the bugs. Like they could progress this game so much more because they'd have the, the final financial backing and they wouldn't be so dependent on people depositing. I mean, the, the, the virtual marketing world is like a couple billion dollars. To, I looked it up one time. It was, it was a staggering amount of money is what people spend on marketing every year. It's absurd. So for, you know, a company to get a couple hundred, or not a couple hundred, even like a million or two million dollars every year from advertisement from outside companies, it shouldn't be that hard. And that would make a huge difference in Entropia. Huge difference. They could give out so much more ped. It'd be, I mean, they'd have to be careful with it because they got to, you know, maintain the balance of the game to a certain degree but you know we could see all t like new massive all-time highs you know they could just give out ridiculous amounts of money or or just more often spread it out a little bit um uh, so Huh. Interesting. I don't know if we all have burnable money. I feel like there's, like, two kinds of people in Tropia Universe. Either people with money to spare that can afford to put it into this game and just kind of piss it away, so to speak. And then there's the people who are completely broke and just spend all their time sweating for every 
scent that they can get their hands on. But yeah, there's there's a good chunk of Entropia players that have money to burn. Yeah, no, that that is true. Bringing it well, I I don't know if I'd say more players necessarily means more money. To a certain extent, I I'll agree with you on that. There, you know, that will bring. God dang it, that should bring in more money, in theory. But I, but with it being a free to play game, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. But yeah, to a certain degree, you will get depositors because people are lazy and don't wanna to sweat, which is fine, you know, we need depositors, as of right now, this game is 100% dependent on people depositing, because Mind Arc sure isn't going to, you know, piss away money on this game, that's bad for business, it's bad for the game, so we as the players are, it's our responsibility to put money into the game, unfortunately, it's the only, it's, as of right now, that's the only way this game can continue to live. Is by players putting money into the game. But yeah, it, they, they need to get some outside funding. And I think advertisement would be a brilliant way to go. People might not like it. But uh, it would ensure the longevity of the game. For sure. No, I I wouldn't stop playing. I mean, e even still, having... Either way, having more players is going to be good for the game. Whether they're depositors or free-to-play. Because more players means there's going to be more demands for items. And the higher demands is going to mean that our loot is worth more and the stuff that we craft is going to be worth more and overall it's going to be easier to make a profit if stuff has oh crap i'm never going to be able to beat this guy um totally lost what i was saying um just yeah having having more players overall is just going to drive the the market value on everything up and overall, you know, it's good for everybody. But you're right, right. Yeah, people... Oh, crap. Why did I do that? Um, I don't think that many people would really complain. I hope they wouldn't complain. What am I doing? I am... Oh, I'm being an idiot. I'm trying. I'm trying to think and play at the same time, and it's just not working tonight. Um, well, that and I, I, my level four chip burnt out, so I'm stuck with this level one, and it's just not enough to keep up. Um, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, adding ads into the game is not gonna chase people away by any means. I think people will complain about it, but it, they're not going to leave the game entirely. Entropians are stubborn. I 
I think the best situation to do right here is just let him kill me, respawn, heal up, run back over, shoot him again. Because by the time I stop to try to heal up, my, my chip just can't keep up with him. He hits way too hard. So we're just going to have to kamikaze this one. Looks like we're up to seven viewers as of right now. I want to thank you all, all you new people who have swung by my, my stream for, for watching. Uh, I'm currently at 87-ish subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it. I post Entropia Universe contents all the time. I'm just getting into live streaming now as well. So you don't want to miss out on that. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the year. So that'd be awesome too. But uh, th thank you so much for stopping by here. Really appreciate it. Oh, there you go. Put uh, ads above the, the banners. That's a, that's a good idea. Otherwise, so I don't know how well this would work, but this was another idea I had, Bob, was um, what if at, like, say, repair terminals, you could watch, like, a 30-second ad or something, and it would lower your repair cost. And then, like, so the money from the ad, like, half of it would go to mine art to them, and then, like, half of it would like go to um your repair costs or something i i thought that would be kind of a neat idea i don't know how it would work though with the game mechanics and stuff that might be kind of tricky and then same thing with you know balancing everything trying to get that to work yeah i was dragging them a little too close to the respawn point but i didn't want to be too far away because i wanted to kill him right away Definitely gonna have to pick up a new chip before I do my next round. Crafters definitely have money to burn. Crafters are the ones with all the money in this game, honestly. They gotta be. I mean, it's just crazy how much ped they cycle. And, like, they can't... They can't possibly be collecting all those materials themselves. I mean, that's a lot of material to pick up. They gotta be buying a certain amount of that. Nice, 28. Yeah, that's true. Sweaters do not sit in front of crafting stations. But... Crafting is almost as much fun as sweating. Actually, it's probably a little bit more fun. I don't know where you would put a banner up for a sweater anyways. Put them over the mobs that they're sweating. But, yeah, no, that would, that'd that be a good idea. The, the only problem with that, though, is a lot of crafters will... They'll set up their crafting run, and then they walk away from their computer... I mean, granted, they'll see the ads when they're setting it up and stuff, but it's not like they're going to sit there and watch, watch the whole thing. May, well, maybe they do. I don't know. I do, but I got nothing, nothing else to do. I like to watch my, my money burn. Maybe they don't. Burn it. Burn it with fire.
Yeah, that could work. But like you said, I mean, most of the sweaters don't have any, like, money to spare, generally. I'm sure there's a few exceptions. Well, I, like, yeah. Well, I don't have the money to, like, burn on crafting, so it's like, I'll watch ten, ten clicks at a time, and if I'm not getting good results, I'll stop it and... and, uh go to a different crafting machine or do something else. I don't like letting a hundred clicks go by and walking away from the computer. I gotta... I monitor that very closely. Yeah, YouTube ads. YouTube makes a stupid amount of money from advertisement. I gotta look it up. They, they make like a couple billion dollars a year from advertisements every year. It's absurd. I think the only person who makes more money from advertisements is Facebook. And they're kind of like neck and neck right now. Oh, you do think Google has a figure? I could be wrong, or the, or whatever I was reading could have been outdated. Come on, get him. Nice. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Man, I should have popped that other, other uh, skill pill. I didn't think I was going to keep going this long, though. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I 
Dude, do you remember when there was like actual other search engines that people used? Like uh, Yahoo and Ask Jeeves and all these other ones that like nobody even knows about anymore. Like I remember in like elementary school, everybody was using Ask Jeeves. That was the cool search engine to use. Now nobody even knows. I don't even know if it exists anymore. Maybe it does. Should check. I guess Bing is still pretty popular. But. Ooh. What a guy. I wouldn't mind a few more views. That'd be awesome. I did throw a post up on the uh, Entropia Facebook page before I jumped on. But it was kind of obscure. I didn't plan this out very well. It was very, very last minute. Actually, I was Googling um, how to live stream on YouTube during my lunch break. Of like, I'm not 100% how to do this. I'll figure it out as I go. Seems to be working out pretty good so far. This is fun, though. I'm loving it. Yeah, I don't know why they push Bing. Like, I kind of wish everybody would just concede to Google. I had a... My Galaxy phone's always kind of pushed Bing, I think. Or no. No, it was a different phone. But anyways. Um. Oh, yeah. The Eclipso forms would be a good one. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep this going here. I'm getting hungry. Um, totally lost my train of thought, but yeah, um, thanks. Thanks again for getting my name out there, man. You're freaking fantastic, dude. I hope you know that. And everybody who's watching, by the way, is amazing. We're at, uh, still at six viewers, which is, uh, way better than I ever did on Twitch. as uh, short and disappointing as that career was. Yeah, I guess it makes sense for Microsoft to push something they own. I just, I don't like Bing. I just, I don't know. Google just works so flawlessly. here for another 10 or so minutes and uh, call her a night. 
Scrappy, you're still still there. Awesome, dude. Um How's my codex coming? I think it's coming pretty good. I haven't checked it in a while. I think I leveled it up twice tonight. Let's take a look here. We are at rank 6, 29%. Merry Mayhem. We got a ways, a ways to go before we get another... Another reward. How's the sweating going, man? You ready to uh, peel your eyes out with a melon baller yet? <laughs> hey, at least you got a stream to watch. I mean, that's got to make it a little less painful. That's what I always did. I always flipped on uh, other people's YouTube videos, watched, watched Entropia videos while I was sweating. That made it a little less painful. Or if you got like Netflix or something, you can always kick that on. Yep, <laughs> it does suck. There's no other word for it. They need to, they need to overhaul the, the sweating system, and make it at least make sweat profitable again to a certain extent. I mean. Like, this is, like, the way they, you know, having the mechanics behind it of how you gather sweat, I think, is fine. Um, other than maybe up the bottle count to, like, 1 to 10 or something. Um, but they really need to figure out how to implement the sweat into other things in the game to, to actually give it some value. Um, because, like, I know that they have it in some of the, the crafting blueprints, but they have it in for, like, welding wire, which, unless you have a mothership, most people don't go through that much welding wire. Not enough to, like, deplete the sweat market, obviously, because there's such a surplus of it. But, it, like, why not just add sweat into every blueprint? Every crafting blueprint add like a certain amount of sweat like small items you could have like one or two bottles or five bottles or something on like your small stackable items like the basic filters and then like guns have it take like a couple hundred bottles of sweat per gun or a thousand bottles of sweat per gun that would be huge for the sweating industry then it would actually be worth something and Instead of making 10 cents an hour, you'd be, I don't know, making 25 cents an hour. So, 
Sweat ads. No, we were we were just talking about like Scrappy's kind of ready to scoop his eye, uh, eyeballs out with a melon baller because sweating's that much fun. I'm saying they should put it in every blueprint, man. Every blueprint should have sweat in it. Not ju not just welding wire and key blueprints. All the blueprints. All of them. I, I yeah no I don't think it would be game breaking. I think I could be wrong. You know I don't I don't know the whole formula of the game, but it would it would rejuvenate that demand that was once there. That's not there anymore. Did you sell all that sweat, Bob, or did you craft with it? And what'd you get for it? Were you selling it back when it was worth something? kind of hunting were you doing? Was it like super low level? Or did you actually do some decent hunting with it? isn't bad well I mean in retrospect it isn't bad but it is nice that they have like the sweating groups and stuff trying to like support the sweaters and keep the new people in the game but I don't it's... I feel like they're it's almost not enough Ten thousand punies, that's that's quite a bit of hunting. But that's a lot of cheap hunting. Which is still fairly fun. Yeah, you're right. I mean, no, it, it's great that they try, but it definitely should be on my narc for the for them to, you know, make their game better. Keep people playing the game. I think they don't realize how great of a player base they have in in their game. I think they kind of take it for granted for a little, you know, to a certain degree.
nice. Two seven or two two seventeen. <sighs> well, I think I'm going to wrap it up on this one, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all seven viewers. You're fantastic. Bob, Scrappy... And everybody else who was dropping those comments, Abel Dude, you guys are freaking amazing. You made this stream so enjoyable and made it such a success for being my first one. And I'm looking forward to doing this again in the future, hopefully real soon. And uh, for those of you who are watching and haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I want to do more live streams. I make YouTube videos all the time, and I don't want you to miss out on that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys. You have a good one.